But when I changed my mindset, my life changed. When I started making better decisions, my life changed. For things to change, you have to change. For things to get better, you have to get better. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. So, before I get started with the crossroad, let me, let me take you guys a little bit back. Right? You know, um, and I'll start from high school. You know, I mean, as I talk in the book, I failed my last year of high school. Actually, one time, my headmaster called me in because a lot of stuff was happening in school. Most of the time, I was involved into that nonsense. And it got so bad where even stuff that I didn't do, I remember one time, um, the headmaster, you know, there was, there was some stuff stolen. Uh, there was a VCR back then, that's how old he was, by the way. VCR. And I, you know, I got called in, didn't know, was not part of that stuff, but I was flagged. Now. The headmaster told me, Henry, you're not gonna amount to nothing, you know, by just the way, what, based on what you're doing all the time. Just like that, out of nowhere. It didn't phase me back then, but um, looking back, the fact that I still remember that story kind of, you know, threw me back. But I got into college, not going to classes, my GPA dropped below two. I was on academic uh, suspension at some point. But something happened, guys. And that was the birth of my daughter. So I was 24, my girlfriend at the time, you know, uh, was expecting uh, my firstborn. And that alone, that news threw me off. I was about to be a father, I was still very young. I was still in school, barely working. You know, couldn't even take care of myself, let alone take care of another human being. But it didn't faze me. But when, when I hold my baby in my hand, I burst into tears. And the first thing that came in my mind was, I cannot be a disappointment to this child. And from that moment, of course it didn't happen overnight. It still took a process. You know, when you change your mindset, you have to basically reprogram yourself. That take years. But still, it comes from a decision. And that decision was made that night, you know. Um, and I never looked back. And it was it was a hard road. And st I still made some mistakes, but it was no longer about me. I never felt so much in love with, you know, a human being that I did with my daughter. So it, it, just, it just messed me up. And I could no longer justify all the mistakes I was making, all the bad decisions. Because early on, all I used to do is blame everybody else but myself. Every time I got in trouble, I had to blame somebody else. And that was a major part of my, uh, my thinking. So those, that's why I really want to talk about the crossroad. And I, I mentioned even deeper in the book where, you know, that moment, that, that specific moment when you either keep doing what you're doing or just change your ways, you know, for the better, or you can also change for the worse, man. It, it happened also. But if for me, it became, from, you know, a, a much uh, a better me that I had to develop or I was just going to be a failure. And I'm going to end with this, guys. Um, for a long time, I thought I was a loser. Thought I, I just, you know, I couldn't achieve anything. I couldn't do anything good. I couldn't, you know, be become somebody. I felt like um, I was cursed again. The, the blame game. But when I changed my mindset, my life changed. When I started making better decisions, my life changed. For things to change, you have to change. For things to get better, you have to get better. So. If you're going through that nonsense, if 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 you if you're being judged or, or or people are telling you a loser, you're not gonna amount to nothing. Remember this: for things to change, you have to change. Stop looking outside in, but start looking in. 
and figured out what am I doing wrong? What can I do to be a better person? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,